Greetings. So today the moon is in Sagittarius, uh, where we have come one full cycle from where we began the current moon cycle with the new moon in Sagittarius. So, so the moon has gone from new to full and is now heading into the next new moon that will be early morning my time, U.S. Pacific time on Thursday, January 11th. And so we're heading into that new moon and we have what is called a waning crescent. The moon is getting smaller each night uh, and is um, uh, heading into that place where it will be new, where we won't see the moon, right? It's the dark moon. It's when the moon uh, disappears. And so where is it going? Well, we're entering into a period of mystery. So the time around the new moon is a time of mystery. It's a time of letting go of the previous cycle, letting go of the work we've been doing and planting the seeds or setting our intentions for the next moon cycle where we will be working through whatever issues we're working through um, and we'll have the next opportunity to uh, to move through the process of the moon getting to full and us um, moving forward on the things we want to, you know, the things we want to heal or the areas where we want to see change. Um, so we set the intentions with the new moon and then uh, moves outward from there. And then following the full moon, uh, we integrate. We integrate what we've been learning and what was revealed around the full moon. So that uh, happens every moon cycle. And uh, today's Sagittarius moon is a waning crescent. So we are heading into the Capricorn new moon, but we are also completing the Sagittarius moon cycle. <laughs> I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Monday, January 8th. Thank you so much for being here. So, um, so as we head into this Capricorn new moon, we are completing the work we've been doing throughout the Sagittarius moon cycle. So as I've been sharing, if you've been following me, Sagittarius is the energy of connecting with our bigger picture of meaning, what we believe in. So our beliefs, our philosophy, our ways of understanding and telling a story, telling the story of our lives or telling the story of what's happening in the world around us. Um, so that Sagittarian energy is philosophical. It So think about this time of year um, with the sun in Sagittarius. So when you have a new moon in Sagittarius, that's because the moon and sun come together. So it's in Sagittarius because that's where the sun is. So with that new moon in Sagittarius in December... Um, we have that time of year where we're going indoors. It's dark, right? It's one, one, uh, in the darkest part of the year. And so we're, we're uh, now on the other side of the solstice. The light is returning, but we're still in that darker part of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, of course. And um, at, so when we go indoors, when we retreat, we hibernate, um, you know, we're sitting around the hearth, <laughs> that time of year, we tell stories, right? So think about um, in old days of old, um, our ancestors would have um, sat around the fire in, you know, long nights. It's not the growing season. It's the time when you go indoors and you tell stories. So, so we're making meaning. We are um, sharing our ways of understanding and uh, telling the story of what happened in the past year or repeating the stories of the past, you know, so maybe telling stories of the future, right? It could be what we want to leap forward into so that um, that uh, Sagittarian leap of faith and what it is we want to um, believe in, place our faith and trust in, and uh, what is going, what, 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 what's going to help us fly when we jump off that cliff? So, so here we are with the Sagittarius waning crescent, heading into the Capricorn new moon, and we are completing this cycle. 
So all of that to say that this is uh, the time, this is the perfect time to reflect on what you have thought about in terms of your understanding of yourself, your life, the understanding of the world around you, what your bigger picture of meaning and principles are, what you believe in, what is your philosophy, um, what, what do you care about? What's important to you? And so reflecting back with this, as we head into this time of mystery, uh, it's a perfect time to reflect on the story you've been telling, um, any changes you may want to make to how you tell that story, right? There's what happens and then there's how we tell it. <laughs> and uh, that can, you know, be very, very simple in terms of, you know, something that happens and maybe one person tells one version of the story and another person tells a different version of what happened. There are different stories, even with the same set of circumstances or facts. So, uh, so think about yourself and your own life and how you talk about it, right? So how you talk about yourself, how you talk about your life, maybe even to yourself. How do you talk to yourself about your life and your, you know, what's unfolding around you? And can you reframe that in a more positive way, in a way that is going to help you fly, uh, as we go forward and um, not be um, held back by the beliefs or the limitations of the past. So as we head into this time of mystery, we are reflecting on our bigger picture of meaning, what has transpired in the last month, thinking back to the, uh, the last full moon and what unfolded for you around that. Um, around that cancer full moon. And that was per in particular about themes of caring, how we care for ourselves and how we care for others. So how that fits into your understanding, your bigger picture of meaning, what feels important to you and where caring falls in your priorities, right? Is it, does it need to be bumped up a notch or two in your priority list? And what does that look like? How would you do that? Um, how would you tell that story? And so as I was sharing in yesterday's video, which went in depth on the upcoming Capricorn new moon, um, we can be thinking with this Capricorn moon about what we wanna put in place. What are the systems, the structures, the uh, steps that we want to have, the plan, the map, <laughs> the ways of getting organized that's going to help us um, take action and build something from that place of meaning and what we care about. So that is the unfolding of cycles, the beautiful cycles of the universe and the ways that they support us in our, uh, in our self-care and our ongoing discovery of who we are. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. I'm still working on my new website. So I still have those old prices up. Um, if you are interested, it's definitely worth checking out um, some options for working with me before the pricing does go up. So whether a single session or maybe committing to yourself with a package of sessions where we can dive a little bit deeper. Um, I have a great rate right now on my website uh, in um, for a package of five sessions working with me throughout the year. So you can uh, you know, have one a month or whatever uh, timing works for you. And we can dive deep into your chart and how it, how the themes that are showing up in your life can, um, how you can find breakthroughs, connect with your own deeper wisdom, shift what needs to be shifted and um, really step into your power to create the things you want, whether it's healing or working on a creative project or uh, having healthier finances, whatever it is you want to work on, 
um, we can dive deep in that package of five sessions. So check it out, astrologyheals.com. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And I am here every day with astrology for unshakable self-care. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.